sure to check out Agile's Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Gardon18 here, and today in this video we do have another latest editions video. I did get a bunch of figurines in the mail, and I did get a few Blu-rays, so uh, before I go over anything, the Mandalorian capes and the Batman capes sold out so quick. They sold out in, in five days, about. The Mandos, I think, sold out in two days or three days, and the Batman sold out in three days. So they sold out extremely quick. Uh, more Mandalorian capes will be in stock probably Thursday or Friday. They should be ready. And more Batman capes are going to be made as well. I'm going to learn how to sew this weekend. I got a sewing machine thread. Uh, just need to get some fabric to practice on before I start making stuff. I have a few things that I want to try to make myself. My, my fiance makes uh, some other stuff, like, like she's still working on the Spawn capes. I recently ordered the 80th anniversary Marvel Legends Thor, because a lot of people have been asking us for that specific cape for Thor. I also ordered uh, the Marvel Legends Mysterio, so we can make a Mysterio cape. And the Gambit Coat is another one that, that is on the table as well. So there's a lot of things she's going to be working on. Like I said, me, I'm going to be working on some stuff as well. Once I learn how to sew, I, I got everything I need. I just need to start learning how to sew, which I'm pretty sure I'll be able to pick it up pretty easily. So I wanted to just give an update on that quickly. Uh, I think I'm going to uh, focus on this more because our uh, little business that we have is starting to blow up and get really, I guess, popular. It, we're getting more known. I mean, I'm already known for being a action figure reviewer on YouTube, but we're getting more known for our cloth good items. So this is definitely awesome, and that's something I would like to focus more compared to my to my five days a week. Uh, 8 to 4.30 full-time job. I'm probably either going to switch to part-time for that or maybe just not do it anymore and focus on this full-time along with YouTube and making videos, of course. So, anyway, the three movies that I got here, I did get uh, the Austin Powers trilogy. I saw someone make a meme of it, and I'm like, you know what? I feel like watching all these movies. These are such great movies. If you never saw them, definitely check them out. They're really funny, uh... Uh, movies from Mike Myers, and I also did get uh, the the DC animated movie Superman Red Sun, which isn't too bad. It's not a, a it's a it's a cool different take on Superman if he landed in Russia instead of landing in America in Kansas. Uh, the other thing I got, or the last movie I got, is uh, the DC animated movie Justice League Dark Apocalypse War, which was a great movie, man. And seeing this makes me wonder why we don't have a good six-inch scale Constantine figure. I was going to buy the uh, DC Collectibles Arrowverse one, or it's the same actor who played Constantine in Constantine's own TV series, which they cut off pretty quickly, but supposedly a lot of people liked it, so I don't know why they uh, did cut it off. But I want to check out that series as well. If you did see the Constantine... Uh, TV series. Let me know if it's any good or not. I was thinking about just picking it up on DVD or Blu-ray or something like that. So that's the Blu-rays I got. Now the figures I got here, this was like a random buy. I don't know this character, but ever since they made this line, this was a figure I always wanted to get, and that is the Icons Mr. Miracle. Like I said, I don't know too much about the character, but the figure itself looks awesome, and I want to try to make a uh, cape for this dude, too. I just love the, the paint, the metallic paint he has all throughout him. I was thinking about getting uh, the, the dead man dude, too. But, I mean, it is a, a really cool-looking figure, man. That red just really pops on the figure. Same with green. So I randomly got that, and then, as you saw, I did already upload my review of this, and that is NECA's latest... Predator figure in their line, which is their 100th Predator figure that they have ever made. And I also forgot to mention in my review, you also get a poster, and on the other side it shows all the Predator figures they have made to date. And then there's also a little sheet of paper in there with, um, I guess, kind of a little bio of him, but more of a background to 
his character, which is pretty cool actually. I did post it uh, on my YouTube channel, but this is a dope figure, man. NECA absolutely destroyed it with this Alpha Predator. If you like NECA Predator figures, don't wait on getting this. Supposedly, he already sold out on uh, NECA's eBay and Amazon account for the early release, so I would definitely try to get this figure before it's too late and you can't. But NECA is pretty good with re-releasing stuff, so I'm pretty sure they'll re-release this figure if it gets that bad and people are, are missing out in getting the figure. I'm missing something else I was supposed to bring in here, so I will go get it and edit this out and we will continue in a second. All right, see, I told you that was quick. Um, there is still the atrocity review I have of the, the bootleg Winter Soldier that I still need to upload. Same with the uh, custom head sculpt by Anthony's Customs of Gambit. I still need to uh, make that video. But I did get this in the mail, and this is from the other dude on eBay that I got the, the Gambit with the uh, cigarette knee mouth head sculpt. I got the yelling, screaming one, which looks dope, man. If you want to get something like this, just search... Uh, Gambit head sculpts on eBay. I mean, this thing is pretty dope. So, now I have three different custom Gambit head sculpts there. So I got that. And then I did get my replacement Stormbreaker from uh, Ami Ami. Ami Ami is really cool with uh, sending replacements pretty much all the time. And they actually sent it with the uh, lightning effects on it as well, which I don't need. But as you see this time, the, the hammer and the axe aren't all crooked. It's, it's Now it's the way it's supposed to be, but uh, cool that they sent the effects as well. These effects seem to stay on better also compared to the ones that I got with my figure, but so happy about this. Thank you very much, Ami Ami, for sending me the replacement Stormbreaker. And I did break for my uh, <laughs> Storm Collectibles MK3 Scorpion did break, and Tamashii Nations is, uh, or Bluefin is sending me a replacement. I don't know if it's going to be an entire figure. Usually, they just send you an entirely new figure when you break, or if a piece breaks on your figure. So, I'm waiting for that, and, and my other Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, who I have with the Super Saiyan God hair sculpt, the neck joint is... There's something wrong with it, and I asked them to send me a replacement a while ago. I never got it and contacted them about it, and they're sending me another one since I never got, got it. So, waiting on that as well. Now, the last two packages I got in the mail here, I'm pretty sure I know what this is. It's not a newer figure. I think it came out a year ago, but I never, I, I never knew this company made this figure. And when I was younger... This was a figure that was one of my absolute favorites in my collection as a kid. I, I always remember how awesome it was. And I did not know this company made an updated version of it. I think this is it. Yes, it is. And it is the NECA Kenner Throwback Terminator 2 uh, T-800. And I used to have this one back in the day with the claw arm. This thing looks so damn cool, man. I, re I remember it with the pink shirt and the vest and everything. So I'm uh, really glad I ended up getting this. Pretty dope, man. I love that NECA does these Kenner uh, tribute figures. I used to have some of the Predators, some of the Terminators, uh, some of the Aliens. So it's really cool seeing them do updated, badass versions of them. And another reason why I got this one, I seen someone on Facebook take these bare arms and put it on their NECA original movie TMNT Shredder and they took Shredder's gauntlets off and put them on these arms so you have Shredder with a sleeveless look and it looked so dope man so I'm gonna try to do that as well because you could take like this this spear tip and put it on his uh, right arm there so it doesn't look like he has no arm then he has something on there but uh I forgot who did it, but I was like, that's a pretty damn good idea, and it looks freaking awesome. But man, this is so dope, so I did get that. And then the last thing I got here, hold on one second, which I'm, I'm pretty damn excited for. I might as well save this envelope. Look, 
brand new envelope. I don't know why they put it in this envelope. Oh, maybe to give it some bubble wrap, I guess. But brand new envelope. I'm going to keep that. You can reuse that. Always good to recycle. The last thing I got here I am really excited for as well. This is a figure I'm pretty damn pumped for. Even though I, I do have it pre-ordered, I was like, let me order this so I can uh, get my review up earlier. Because I don't know when my pre-order is going to arrive in stock. And this took a bit of time to get here. I did recently order the the 2.0 Kaioken Goku as well from the same people, so I'll probably have it in about a week and a half, two weeks. I think it took me took took about two weeks for me to get this figure here. Because I ordered it from China. I think it was from China, not Japan. Alright, let's get this thing I'm urging her open here. Yes! Yes! Nice man. Nice. SH Figure Arts Endgame Final Battle cap right here. This thing looks freaking dope, man. Even though it's pretty much the same figure as the regular Endgame Captain America, this one's just more dirtied up like how he looked at the end of the movie fighting uh, Thanos, but this is probably one of my all-time favorite scenes in the MCU period when he gets Thor's hammer. I'm not even going to try to butcher the name. When he gets Thor's hammer and just starts hitting Thanos with all these combos. That was probably my all-time favorite scene from the MCU, and so happy these companies are giving us this version of Captain America. One complaint I do have about this one and the Mafex one, they didn't give us a battle-damaged head sculpt where half his mask is off and he's got like a bloody face. I wish they did that. I don't know why they didn't, but you get the, the, the regular shield, the battle-damaged shield, the hammer, the lightning effect, so this is going to be a cool figure. I mean, the end game Captain America wasn't too bad, and like I said, it's it's the same figure, just painted to look more dirtied up and more final battled version like how he did in the movie. This is definitely going to be my next review on my channel, and I'm, I'm probably going to do a quick look review of this Terminator as well, but anyway, that is my latest editions video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you would like to support the channel, don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell. And if you liked it, feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, oh well, like it, share it, like it. But thanks for watching. I will see you later with these reviews.